Greetings from the Guardians. I'm Jack Frost. There shall be many things befall the Earth in the coming few months and years. Things which say might be natural disasters. But first, you have been seeing these signs in the sky, the triangles, the triangles in the sky. You shall see them over your capital cities as a warning. Jesus Christ is coming soon. What do they look like, you ask? I'll show you. In the skies around the world, even now, you'll be seeing these. A blue shape cut out from the clouds in the sky. They're a sign from God. We are now living in the last of the end times. Jesus Christ is coming soon. You can see the blue sky through the clouds in this shape of a triangle. And for those of you who doubt, this is a natural Virga fallout. I watched this form. Here's the snow. There is no snow in this one that formed later. I asked God. I said, God, the end time signs in the sky, the triangles are small. They're not manifesting like they should. Would you please put a large, big, bold triangle in the sky so everyone can see it? Ten minutes later or so, this formed. It's an answer to prayer. God is real. And you'll be seeing these around the world, over your cities. You'll be seeing other signs in the sky also. Crosses, triangles, hexagons, squares, rectangles, numbers, like the number seven, which has occurred frequently. And yes, blue. What's it take to wake up? Signs in the heavens? Have there not been enough signs in the heavens? But yet again, you'll see these in the heavens. It's triangles in the sky. Shall appear. They shall be large, and they shall be small. There shall be squares in the sky, perfectly shaped squares. These happened also over Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, about two months ago. A huge square formed in the sky, just like that triangle. The elites all said an airplane flew through there. Must I educate the humans? Please. It does pain me to do so. 
I watched y'all for a long time. You are, must be smarter than this, right? Are you not smarter than this? Please. Does this square shape here? Does that look like an airplane? Do any of these shapes look like an airplane? Do they look like an airplane? Any of these shapes look like an airplane to you? Look how large that is. It's huge. And I watched that form. No airplane flew through there. It's an answer to prayer because my God is big. His name is Jesus Christ. Then she see the miracle. Behold an answer to prayer. My God is bigger than any. Because Jesus Christ made this in the heavens. When I asked, ten minutes later it formed. God is real. Jesus Christ is real. What more does it take to prove? These are the end of the end days. Jesus Christ is coming soon. Much has changed. The wolf now dwells with the lamb. What's that mean? Oh yes, that changed verse has a meaning. It used to be the lion. The lion will lay down with the lamb. But now it says wolf. And so I asked God what the meaning of this verse was. I had a dream that told me everything about it. I was in a Hallmark store in the dream. I asked the clerk to take me back to the Christian books and videos, which she did. I looked around for about five minutes. Then around the corner stepped this man. He was big, broad-shouldered, tall, and looked like a minister, like a preacher. We talked about the Bible in a dream for five minutes. Then I asked him, do you know about the um, Mandela effect and the uh, Bible changes? And he said to me immediately, immediately, why yes, you want to know about the wolf of Isaiah 11:6." And I said, yes, tell me about the wolf. And he said this simple phrase to me, the tribe that bears the symbol of the wolf will be alive on earth at the time of Jesus Christ's second coming. The tribe that bears the symbol of the wolf will be alive on earth at the time of Jesus Christ's second coming. Then I woke up, went to the computer. In real life, I went to the computer. I woke up and then I searched out for tribe, Israel, wolf. I found the tribe of Benjamin. Benjamin's a wolf. Benjamin shot Raven as a wolf. There's also the tribe of Judah, Jesus' tribe. Benjamin and the tribe of Benjamin and the tribe of Judah, they are no longer on earth. Oh, but wait, I'm speaking from nine months ago because of about five weeks ago or so, someone told me, hey Jack, there's only two tribes on earth now. What? I said, what do you mean? Because when I researched that, there was 10 tribes on earth and two were missing, thus making 12 tribes of Israel. 10 tribes came down and two got missing. The two tribes that went south Benjamin and Judah. That's how it was nine months ago, but no. Five weeks ago, this happened. Someone told me, hey Jack, there's two tribes on earth only. Judah and Benjamin. And so I looked it up again, did all the research again. Same places. And found out that, yes, there are now ten missing tribes. Ten missing tribes of Israel. And two. Two tribes that came down. Benjamin and Judah. Judah's Jesus tribe. Benjamin's the wolf. You now have the wolf and the lamb, the lamb's tribe on earth. The wolf will dwell with the lamb. Guess what? 
The dream came true. It's happening right now. The Antichrist is alive on Earth. Receive those that take the joy, joy juice. We see the ultra variants happening. It is those who have received the joy, joy juice that are being touched by the variants. Yet you keep on. As any other time in history, any other required three or even four of them. Isn't it customary for Earth vaccines to require just one? But you're taking two, three, four, five. Anyway, the signs in the heavens we shall see. The times and laws are changing as per Daniel. He'll seek to change times and laws. He will seek to change times and laws. Thus we see it happening. For the past 20 years, you've witnessed the trumpet sounds in the skies. If you don't believe me, Google YouTube trumpet sounds skies and you'll see over the past 20 years around the world, there's been strange loud sounds in the skies that were unexplained. Then in 2015, the American Space Agency said those are from the sun. You're hearing them in your head. They're radio waves from the sun. Really? Never in history has there been these trumpet sounds in the skies, and you're telling me they're from the sun. In the Carrington event of 1859, when the sun struck the earth directly with a magnetic storm. No sounds were reported. Even the last century, the 20th century, there are many times flares struck the earth, yet no sounds reported. Throughout history, no sounds are reported. These loud sounds are not common in the skies on this planet. I know, I've watched a long time. You say that you're hearing them in your head. Okay, why do people get up at 3 in the morning and go, Honey, what's that loud sound? Oh my gosh, and she hears it too. They go outside with her camera and record it on the microphone on the camera. The microphone on the camera does not hear sounds in your head. If you could, you could, you could think. I'm thinking my essay I'm going to write about how Santa Claus um, has, has painted his sleigh uh, an orange cover this year. Okay, I just got to think this. Okay, I'm done. I, I didn't have to, like, speak it because a microphone can hear in my head, right? Right? I don't think so. It was loud on their microphones, these strange sounds. Hey, guess what? Yes, I've done experiments on myself to see if I could have thoughts on the audio tape didn't work out yeah and you're telling me a microphone can hear thoughts in your head are you kidding me wow really yeah I'm into science who wouldn't be I'm Jack Frost weather science a few years ago I discovered but I knew that they were there all along. The strange sounds that frost makes when it forms. I made videos of this and put it on YouTube. You can watch those. The strange screaming sounds that frost makes when it forms. Yeah, I'm into science. So. I pray everybody wakes up. You'll be seeing these. A lot of these in the sky. To the end time signs, Jesus Christ is coming soon. And speaking of science, doesn't science say that we should not be where we are now? 
All the unmasking. All the jab. All the inoculations that people must be repeatedly taking because the crown that stalks the darkness is now back. The crown is raging in force. And yet you took. You took both. You got both. And yet you're terrified of the crown that stalks the virus, the walrus beavis that stalks in the darkness. You're afraid. Yes, you took it. So you could be off with your ask. Your ass could be taken off of you. You could be free. Normal, so you could be there. Now there'll be a third. The fourth. You're a slave to the system. Anyway, anyway. So. I must warn you the hurricane. You cat four. Possibly Cat 5 coming in to Louisiana or Texas in a few days from the date of this video. But it's not the hurricanes we're going to worry about, are we? No. You see, it's now time for the judgment. The seals. We see the pale chloro horse riding again and you thought you could fight this horse with science you did not pray or repent yet you thought you could fight this horse of death from revelation of science and now it's back riding with force the green chloro horse the sickly horse of death, Revelation, is riding. For those who understand, please apply the blood of Jesus to your life, to the doorposts of your life, that the angel of death would pass over as was in Egypt when they applied the blood of the lamb to the doorposts. The death angel did not enter and kill the firstborn. What do you want to see that you would believe? Are these signs not enough? Are the biblical signs not enough? Are they not enough? But you shall, you shall see them. You shall see a 10.0 earthquake. There shall be a 10.0 earthquake on the earth somewhere coming soon. Has there ever been a 10.0 earthquake? No. But there shall be. There shall be a 10.0 magnitude on your so-called Richter scale earthquake. And when you see it happen, believe the day is 8-28-2021. Thus, the eight marker of this video. I say these things before they happen, so you will believe when they do happen, you will see them. Do you think I like making these videos? When you're at, rather make something fun? Something for Christmas. Something about snow. Something with a furry animal in it, perhaps. Or just a brief talk with friends. Or some live video. Or some live gaming video. Or something as I game with my human friends from afar here. Instead, I'm compelled 
by the one. Lord God. Who made. And gave. The signs. And heavens. Repent. Jesus Christ comes soon. Why hasn't they followed me? Jack Frost. Guardian. And not the other guardians. To be the one who warns. I have no idea. But it's something I must do. Jesus Christ is coming soon. He's the Son of God. He died on the cross for your sins. I can just believe and trust in what he did for you. It's the reason we have Christmas. His birth. Passover, Easter. His death, burial, and resurrection from the dead. And taking your sins and my sins upon himself. The question is, has anybody listened? Has anybody listened? I'd seen those. Those humans who I befriended. I'd seen them. Go. And do stuff. Even though. They have seen. The truth. Yet they believe a lie. Thus I don't understand. Why it's so. But you shall see the signs in the sky. Again, the triangles. You are looking at an answer to prayer. This came about 10 minutes after I prayed to Jesus Christ. This formed in the sky. And the next day at the same spot, a similar one formed in the sky. They're not as bright or bold. If you're at a point in life where you believe God will not answer your prayers, then pray. Pray to Jesus. Look upon the sign God gives. God gave this as a sign he answers prayer for those feeling down. Look upon it. You're seeing a physical manifestation of an answer to prayer to God, to Jesus Christ. Look at this. You see it? And you will see these in the heavens, in real life. I've seen many. Jesus Christ is coming soon. Oh, by the way, fear not the climate changeableness. Fear not the warming of the globe. For it is the sun and the northern ocean current that can be flipped off like that plunging the earth into an ice age or flip back on the ocean current back on thus the thaw comes life as we know it now or ice age this happened about 300 years ago the little ice age the current Flipped off for a little bit, then back on. So do you want the current flipped off? The ocean current flipped off? Ice age? Cold? We want it warm. Which is it? I'm Jack Frost. Personally? Believe it or not, I like it warm. Just so you know. Though it could be cold. And would you complain? Oh, it's too cold. Oh, it's global cooling. What have we done? We must have done something wrong. We must somehow fix this. Or warm. Or is it just that you're worried about your coastal investment properties failing falling in the oceans perhaps that's it warm it shall be as i said i like it warm so don't worry 
Now then. Please do go outside and look for the triangles and shapes in the sky. For they will form. They shall form. You will see them. In fact, all of you who are guardians out there, pray to God, pray to Jesus Christ, that they would form. Pray the end time signs to come. Pray people would see them. The shapes would form in the skies. Pray to God that these would form and show the world that God is on his throne. Jesus Christ is coming soon. As for the dream, because the wolf, the wolf now dwells with the lamb. That has come to pass, as I stated earlier. The dream said the time, the tribe that bears the symbol of the wolf will be alive on earth at the time of Jesus Christ's second coming. And this happened. It happened overnight, about five weeks ago. All of history changed, times and laws changed. Instead of there being 10 tribes that all Israel came down, there's now two tribes they came down and 10 missing tribes. I know some of you will remember, you, sure, you, you remember it, that there were 10 tribes on earth and two of them were missing, Judah and Benjamin. It's not like that no more, times have changed. Wake up, do the research. There's now 10 missing tribes and two. Look it up. If you don't believe me, look it up. You'll see. And one more change is going to happen too. I know you remember Chick-fil-A, C-H-I-C, dash F-I-L, dash A. And then it became C-H-I-C-K, dash F-I-L, dash A. But it is now C-H-I-C-K, dash F-I-L, dash A. Write that down in your memory. Write it down. Remember it. C-H-I-C-K, dash F-I-L, dash A. Chick, like a chicken, C-H-I-C, K, C-H-I-C-K, dash F-I-L, dash A. Now then, for those who don't believe in the Mandela effect, that it's real, that things are changing. Oh yeah, you're going to see it spelled C-H-I-K. Dash F I L dash A C H I K dash F I L dash A. I remember it being C H I K. I remember that. Then it became C H I C. Then I prayed to God for a while and it turned from C H I C to C H I C K. I saw that happen. And so now, it shall become C-H-I-K. And you shall remember it and believe. Look it up now. Look up their spelling now. And in the future when it changes from C-H-I-C-K to C-H-I-K, you shall remember what it was. Okay? Time is short. Jesus Christ is coming. We see the times and laws changing. That's part of it. The Bible changes you may have heard of. Yes, they're real. They're a sign. It's being sent to the church to wake the church up. The church is asleep. In fact, the church has helped pass out the goy goy juice. Woe to you all. If you have turned the sanctuary of the Lord into a clinic. You put your faith in science instead of Christ. What are you in Brazil? For you said Exim 
saves the cross, the statue. You plastered it via your projected lasers. Axine saves the cross, the statue of Christ. And thus you shall see the statue damaged. You shall see repeated lightning strikes to it. Restreat it. You shall see. You shall see. Super bolts hit the statue. You'll see these happen. There's a warning. It's Christ who saves and not Axine. It's not Axine that saves. But Christ. Christ, Christ alone saves. You shall see lightning strikes. Strike that statue. Repeatedly. It shall be in the news over and over and over and over again and again as a sign. Wake up. Statue of Christ struck again by lightning. Statue of Christ struck. Do I just spell it out for humans? Must I tell you the headlines? Statue of Christ struck by lightning again. Struck by lightning again. Statue of Christ again struck by lightning. Statue of Christ again struck by lightning. Statue of Christ again Brazil struck by lightning. Again struck by lightning. Brazil. Brazil. Statue of Christ struck again by lightning. Must I spell it out for you? Why? Must I spell it out for you? Why? 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 And the earthquake, a 10.0 on a Richter scale in the world somewhere. You'll see it. You'll see it. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. A 10.0 quake. You'll see it. I'm speaking about it right now. A 10.0. A 10.0. A 10.0 quake. You will see it. Has there ever been a quake so big? No. 10.0 quake. Somewhere in the world. Watch for it. Watch for it to happen. Will you believe then? What's it take? God is merciful. Signs being given for those who don't believe. To believe. Let's see. But blessed are those who do not see and yet believe. Yes, blessed are you who have not seen, but yet you've believed. But what's it take? Signs in the heavens? You will see them. Triangles in the sky. Shapes in the sky. Squares. Squares in the sky. Hexagons, triangles, you'll see the cross in the sky, you'll see sevens, rectangles, you'll see smaller triangles in the sky. Can you not discern the signs? Can't you discern the signs in the heavens when they happen? Matthew 16, 2 to 3. Jesus Christ is coming soon. It is time for the world wake up. Wake up. Wake up. You must awake. Before you die. Or are you a turtle? Or a frog? If you put a frog in warm water, really warm water, it'll jump out. But if you put a frog in the water and bring the water up slowly to a boil, the frog will not jump out. 
You the frog. The water is getting hotter. The waters are getting hotter. Are you going to jump out? Are you going to jump out? Or are you going to boil to death? Which is it? The waters are getting hotter. We jump out? Or not? This winter of 2022. Do not believe the liars who are saying that the fall will not be cold, that the winter shall not be cold. For it shall be. This winter shall be cold. Wake up. They lie. Do they know about the climate? No, they don't. Do they know about the weather? No, they don't. Do they know about the winter? No, 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 and no, they do not. Prepare now, all of you, for a cold, record cold winter. Shall I be all over? Where shall I be? I'm not saying, of course. But prepare. For it shall be brutally cold in the northern hemisphere. 2022 20, this winter. And the fall leaves. The fall leaves shall be brilliant this year. They're saying that this warming is going to keep the fall from being the fall it should be. No. The fall shall be brilliant, bold. But beware, the storms in December cometh, the tornadoes in December cometh. Beware of the tornadoes out of season. Judgment cometh, judgment cometh. I must show you something else. King James Bible, 1611, digital remastered. It is supposed to be faithful. The old English, yeah, has the old English fonts. But I can open up any page I want to. I will show you on a photo that I will take. But there's modern S's in here. Modern S is not the F looking S, but it's here. I'll show this at the end of this video. Okay. You got one of these. It's the 400th anniversary edition. But they said they were true to the old English and it's photocopies of the text and yet there's modern letters in it now okay which I'll show you in a moment yes modern letters in this wow so the Bible changes wake up wake up yeah because old English in heaven an S. It looked like an F. And yet in paragraphs there's a S and also the F looking S. Wow. Bible changes. Supernatural Bible changes. It's all real. 
look it up. And now, briefly, for this. Just because. It must be done. For those who see keyboard. For the signs in the heavens. Jesus Christ is coming soon. Again. The end time signs. You will see them in the sky. Thus in answer to prayer. God is real. You will see these. And these. Wake up. Jesus Christ is coming soon. For those who have watched this far, I thank you for watching this far. It's now time. If you don't know Jesus, just pray this prayer after me. Heavenly Father, I come to you in Jesus' name. I recognize that I myself am a sinner. I have sinned. Forgive me of all of my sins. Wash me clean in the blood of Jesus. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. They died on a cross. It was raised again after he was buried. And he's coming again. I believe that he is the Son of God. And I receive all the gifts they have for me. I receive the Holy Spirit. And I will serve you all the days of my life. And I await your return, Jesus. In Jesus' name. If you pray that prayer, you're now a Christian. You, you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. That he died on the cross for your sins and was raised from the dead. Took your sins upon himself. It's 
Call being born again. I suggest you open your Bible, the Amplified Version. Romans, John, Jude, and Revelation. Yes, read the New Testament first because you've just accepted Jesus Christ. The New Testament is about Jesus Christ. So read the New Testament first. John, Romans, Jude, Revelation, and some others in there. And for those of you who are Christian and see the Bible changes and see that we are in these end times, you know where we are. You too are guardian because you, for one, you know Jesus Christ. And number two, you're awake. Make sure you're a guardian. So go and preach the gospel. Preach the good news that Jesus Christ saves and that he's coming again soon. Now then, the time, the video, I will pray for everybody to be healed. You see that God answers prayers. This triangle was a direct result of an answered prayer, of prayer. God answered this. God made this in the sky. I myself am no one. I'm just a guardian. A Christian like you. It's Jesus who heals. It's God who made this. So lay your hand on your body wherever you have an issue. If you cannot lay your hand on your body for some reason, just put it on your head. Okay. It's an act of faith. You see, we're coming to the end. The end of the age. We're seeing these signs in the sky. We serve God. We can do that. We serve God. We raise Jesus from the dead. We serve God. The only God who heals. So put your hand on your head or in a part of your body that hurts. Heavenly Father, I come in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for my sins. You alone, Jesus, you're the healer. It has nothing to do with me at all. It's you, Jesus. You, Jesus, alone, you are the healer. They give you praise and glory for what you're going to do. Because you, Jesus, are the healer. You're the healer. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, there's people watching. Even watching after this has been recorded. It doesn't matter. Heavenly Father, I ask that you would heal the people watching. Heal their eyes. Heal their brains, their hearts, stomachs, livers, feet, toes, even fingernails. Yes, some people have trouble with their fingernails. But are healthy otherwise. God, heal their fingernails. Heal the hearts. Heal the hearts of arrhythmias. Heal their eyes so they can see. Yes, heal the, the cavities in their teeth. It's been done before, Jesus. Nothing's too difficult for you. Heal the bones. Their intestines. Rid them of cancer and heal of this crown 
virus of the Rona. They apply the blood of Jesus. And that the symptoms and that those who've lost their taste and smell also still persist after that would be healed now. You receive your taste and smell back now. In Jesus' name, be healed. It's Jesus Christ who is the healer, the Son of God. So receive from the Lord your healing. For the Lord God is present to heal now, in Jesus' name, right here. He's here now, present to heal. Again, you're looking upon an answer to prayer. God made this in the sky, the triangle. That was an answer to prayer, a direct answer to prayer, which even persisted to the next day. The next day it appeared again. This appeared again the next day in the same area, though not as strong, but it appeared again. And it was bigger though. So we see God answers prayers. Nothing's too big for our God. Jesus Christ is the healer. If you've been healed, please comment below and tell the world what Jesus has just done for you. If you come to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please tell the world and share with what God has done for you today. I shall post those pictures now that I promised of those changes in the Bible. And a better picture of this for those who wish to see it. But it is the end of the video, end of the broadcast. I have much more to share, and we'll share this all in the future. My name is Jack Frost. I'm a guardian. I will see you all in another video, and also the time of another snow day. Remember, keep looking up, look for the signs in the heavens, and stay with Jesus, because Jesus Christ is coming soon. And these are the signs in the sky. The Revelation 12 sign has happened October 2017. In 2017, the Revelation sign happened. All the stars and planets lined up just like the Bible said in Revelation chapter 12. All lined up in the heavens. It's never happened before, ever in history. The scientists can calculate it out and calculate it backwards that it never happened before, ever. And so we had the Revelation 12 sign happen. Many signs in the heavens are happening. Many signs upon the earth. You'll see the storms. You'll see the 10 point earthquake. You'll see the tornadoes in December. You'll see the winter of 2022. Be cold. Prepare. You must prepare. Judgment comes. The seals are being unsealed. The chloro horse revelation. The dark horse rides. Repent and save yourself from this evil and corrupt generation. Jesus Christ saves. Look to him. Look to him alone. For he's the one you need. The one we all need in this hour. Of this time. Look to Jesus Christ. He's coming soon. I'm Jack Frost. I will see you all. Hit the bell. Subscribe. Like. And share. And be sure to mirror this video. On your platform. God has touched you through it. I thank you for watching, and there shall be many more videos that I shall bring you in the future. I will see you all in the future through videos, many more videos.
But for those of us who see, still are, you're a guardian. <laughs> 